This is by far the smallest battery box that I own. The smallest with the fewest ports, but it holds my 20 amp hour Bioeno battery and it has everything you need, so I wanna check it out today. This is the Impulse T400 battery box. Let's uh, let's take a look at the inside here. I picked this up because someone at QuartzFest back in January of this year mentioned this. I think this guy who makes these is in, I don't remember he's in California, Arizona, uh, one way or the other. He's uh, Ham who builds these on his own. And I'm always interested in promoting Ham Radio business owners, independent business owners for Ham Radio. So I said this was the smallest battery box that I've seen, but it's full featured. It only has a couple of ports on it, but it has a charge controller. There's a charge controller right here. This is a 150 watt solar charge controller, MPPT. The MPPT solar charge controller. That's pretty cool. 150 watts. It'll take my little gigaparts panel that I use in multiple places. The two most popular solar panels that I use today is my 150 watt gigaparts explorer panel and my 300 watt gigaparts explorer panel. The 300 watt primarily I plug into the 200 amp hour battery in my truck and the 150 watt I kind of take around and plug it into whatever else I might be using at the time. Some battery box somewhere. But this one will take up to 150 watts so there's nothing wrong with that so this uh this right here this t400 is and i'll share a link to the description below i purchased this from impulseelectronics.com i purchased this box it was not sent to me i've never spoken to the gentleman who owns the company i just i thought it was a cool box so i thought oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna grab one and i'm gonna put it in there this box is advertised to hold either the 15 or 20 amp hour bioeno this is my 20 amp hour bioeno it barely fits it barely fits and if you can see it's got these um, blade connectors here that are turned 90 degrees. I didn't do that. It came that way. So I sus and th these are these are coming straight out from the port. These are turned 90 degrees. That one's turned this way. That one's turned this way, right there. So I suspect he did that on purpose to, to because I'm sure he's probably got a 20 amp hour bioeno and he knows the configuration of this battery. So I suspect he did that on purpose so so that it'll fit properly. And it fits. It fits. It's barely. It barely fits, but it does fit. So if you do that and close that up like that, there we go right there. And then we can turn this up here. So there's. This is a T4002260. I don't know what that means, but uh, this is. A, these are power works meters. So you can't really complain with that. The yellow one obviously is your solar panel input, and the uh, the red one is your power output. It's only got one output uh, power pull output on it. I wouldn't be concerned about it. Okay, so I have about, at the time of this recording, I have about six battery boxes. So I just grab the one that I want to take and go. If I want a small one, that's the one I take. I'm curious about taking this thing on an airplane. Technically, the battery is too big. You're supposed to only take up to 144 watt hour, which is basically a 12 amp hour battery. 150 watt hours for American Airlines, which I usually fly. That's what they advertise, but... I've never had them take my battery out. Sometimes they'll say, what is this? I say, it's a battery. Oh, okay. They don't look and see what the what it's marked at. Maybe I'll print a 144-watt sticker and put it on this one. I didn't say that, TSA. TSA, don't listen to this video. So it's got a um, cigarette lighter adapter, ob obviously, right there. And then it's got a PD. And I don't remember the uh, I don't remember the wattage on that, but it's got a PD, a power delivery USB-C, and a quick charge 3.0 for a USB-A. And then we can turn that on and it shows 13.2 volts right there. So it's got all the essentials. It's got everything you need. Solar panel input, power pull output, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter output. I think, honestly, I think I would probably trade that and put another dual power pull in there. So I think what I might do is take this, uh, this thing out. Although, you know, sometimes I buy, like I bought a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter that plugs into my AnyTone desk cradle to charge my AnyTone HT radios, and it has a cigarette lighter adapter on it. And I thought, well, I'll just take that and cut it off and put power poles on it, which is always a good idea, okay? But some stuff actually, I mean, sometimes you actually need a, a power adapter. So I don't know. I might trade that out and put the PowerWorks double. And I'm sure if you call this guy, I mean, he seems like he's pretty responsive to emails. Or if you emailed him and said, instead of putting this in, it looked like he did custom jobs on the website. You might, uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's true. So you might even be be able to request uh, and, you know, take the 12 volt power adapter, cigarette lighter adapter out and put another power pull thing in here, so which might be kind of cool. This is just one size. He offers these in multiple sizes. This is a TF T400. This is just the, just the one size that I chose. Um, Could have gotten a lot bigger one. I believe this... 
No, I think he makes a smaller one, but it's like for the 8 or 10 or 12 amp hour battery, something like that. I had the 20 amp hour BioNO. I've had it for a couple of years now, and I knew I had that battery. I thought, well, let me just get the one that fits my 20 amp hour BioNO. Why not? That That's just kind of a perfect... Uh, perfect setup there. Now, if you ever wanted to build something like this on your own and you need some place to like make a circuit board or some connectors or something, I want to thank PCBWay.com for supporting this channel and for sponsoring this video. You can get pre-printed circuit boards, a flexible circuit board. You can get circuit boards made in multiple different materials. You can get CNC machine products. You can get injection molded products, 3D printed products, all kinds of stuff. So for building stuff like this, and I don't know if this is what Impulse uh, Electronics.com used or not, I kind of suspect this is this looks like kind of a standard box that uh, you can get at Harbor Freight or at uh, recently found them at Northern Tool. Check uh, this video right here, and I'll link that right there. So you can get these boxes kind of anywhere. But if you want to build like your own stuff and have something kind of injector molded and CNC molded, PCBWay.com does complete custom jobs and custom work. They bring your projects and your ideas to life. So check the link in the description below for PCB Way, and thank you for supporting this channel. Just want to pull up the uh, the website real quick. Uh, this is the one that I got. This is the T400 Go Box for LiPo 4 battery. $175 at the time of this recording. Uh, grab and go, direct solar panel input. Wow, that's, uh, that's a hefty... Oh, the, oh, he's got a... That's a whole radio in there. Nice. I don't remember that being there. Okay, T300 Go Box. That's a little bit... Uh, Looks like that's a little bit better. He's got, or a little bit bigger, I should say. He's got several ports on that that uh, my box doesn't have. Okay, so you see there's three. This is the one that I have right here. There's actually five on that one. There's a switch. You can switch the battery off and on. That's cool. And then there's um, there's a meet, the, well, the meters on it there. There's a, Okay, so the extra power pole. So you've got three power poles on the T300. Cool. Okay, that is probably a lot. This is the next size up a box from this one. So you can do that right there. I, anyway, I just really like supporting handmade parts and handmade uh, equipment like that. So I've been really happy with this box. I've taken it out. I've used this on POTA two or three times. And like I said, I've had that battery for... <laughs> in fact, if you looked at the battery, it has... Um, I don't know if you saw that or not. Go back and watch in the video, but the, the label's starting to peel off of it because I've kept the battery outside in the sun a few times. So it's good to have the battery in a protective case. I've got the connections I need. I can charge my phone and my tablet now from the ports that are on here. So this is a great addition to the GoBox lineup. Let me, uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of ImpulseElectronics.com, if, if you have anything of theirs and what you think about it. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to.